Hi oh guys, back again with another update. Uh, as you can see, we've got some TV series, uh, movie novels, some movies, uh, some Blu-rays, and actually a uh, package as well. So, jump right into it and uh, get to looking at what I picked up recently. Hi guys, back again uh, with another non-horror update. Uh, got a few TV series, movies, uh, novel, Blu-rays. And a package. So uh, we'll start with the uh, novel. Probably going to start picking up a few more of these. Um, they're just good reads for when we're on the train and buses and that kind of thing. So I uh, got the one flew. Yeah, one flew over the cuckoo's nest. I uh, haven't seen that movie in ages, but I'm um, looking forward to giving the book a read through as well. I'm on to some movies. Got a uh, Amazon. Amazon Woman, Women on the Moon, uh, so it's kind of like a comedy about uh, a lot of the uh, 1950s sci-fis and that kind of thing. Um, one put out of my umbrella, so I uh, definitely thought I'd pick it up uh, for five bucks. And you see, all kind of funny about that. I've got a uh, comedy with Bruce Campbell in it, um, Bubba Hotel. So it's uh, kind of like a uh, Elvis is still. <laughs> Elvis didn't really die. Um, Elvis Presley didn't really die. Kind of story, and uh, Bruce plays old man Elvis. So pretty, uh, pretty funny stuff. Pretty good. Um, this is actually the uh, collector's edition. So it's uh, two discs. It's got a whole bunch of uh, special features. As you can see, that's just on the second disc. All those special features, so it's all of in there. And uh, picked up for four bucks. So I was a bit um, skeptical of it being a um, Bank of Pacific. They usually do kind of cheapish releases, but this one's really good. <laughs> whole bunch of special features. Haven't even watched the whole special features yet. Uh, Steel and Harvard, which is one with uh, Tom Green and uh, Jason Lee from uh, My Name's Earl. Pretty funny one. <laughs> I always enjoyed it, so I finally have a copy of it. Oh, and it was just... I don't know why. <laughs> uh, it was pretty terrible, and I was expecting a bit more from it, just because the first one's... I guess generally regard, regarded as a really, really good um, sci-fi movie. But um, just couldn't get into this one, and that's uh, Starship Troopers 2. Uh, the budget's just so low in this one. Um, I think I read somewhere that it was like five percent of the budget for the first movie, and you can you can really tell. So yeah, pretty horrible. Unless you're unless you're able to complete this, I really wouldn't recommend uh, watching <laughs> sitting through that. Um, and we've got a uh, Saturday Night Live kind of a triple pack thing here. Um, it's got some stuff from Eddie Murphy. Eddie, uh. <coughs> sorry, excuse me. Some stuff from Eddie Murphy uh, back in his uh, kind of stand up days, which I really liked. Uh, not too much of a fan of some of his recent movies, but his stand up in the 80s was really good. Um, got Steve Martin as well there, and uh, just some random kind of uh, bits and pieces of, of it as well. So, pretty good. Uh, I've only really watched the uh, Eddie Murphy part so far, but it was a three disc set. So, pretty cool. Get through to watching all the rest of that later. Um, we've got one hour photo, which is a very uh, kind of one with uh, Robin Williams being very creepy in it. So uh, I believe I have seen bits and pieces of it on TV uh, multiple times, but I never actually sat down and watched the whole movie through. So definitely looking forward to getting a full watch through. Um, Escape from LA. I uh, haven't seen it, so can't comment on it yet, but. Uh, I thought I'd finally pick it up for two dollars for the watch through. Obviously, I picked this up on the uh, on a seven dollar sale with JB uh, Office Space. It's another um, Mike Judge, 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 <laughs> whatever, whatever his last name is. Um, movie. Uh, this is probably my least favorite of his work, but uh, I still enjoy it. But uh, I just think a lot of his other works a lot better. Um, I've got just a random uh, anime DVD, um, Bucky the Grappler. Um, really, um, haven't really heard too much about this, but I'm willing to give it a go. 
and uh, it was only two dollars for the four episodes on this disc, so I thought I'd out. Give it a bit of watch. Then on to the uh, TV seasons. So I've got um, Boardwalk Empire season three. It's very cool. Um, still got to watch through two yet, so probably gonna probably gonna uh, rewatch one and two, three. I'll probably set aside a weekend or something and marathon it just because I uh, really enjoyed the first season. So I don't need a bit of a refresher because I watched it quite a while ago. So. And then I picked up uh, a whole bunch more John <laughs> stuff. Uh, I picked up King of the Hill season two. Very cool. <laughs> Four bucks for a season. Now for season three. And season four. Very cool. <laughs> Very cool to pick those up so cheap. Um, big fan of the show. Um, Dale was probably my favourite character, I think. <laughs> yeah, really enjoying that so far. Hopefully, I can pick up the um, rest of the season quite soon. And I have um, one that's kind of a bit underrated. I really didn't expect to find it um, at a flea market, nonetheless, but um, I did. Uh, it's the Critic, the complete series. Uh, I actually hadn't heard of it, but. Um, I talked to a few people online and they were recommending this to me if I liked um, kind of the older style Simpsons um, to pick this up because I believe it's one of the same varieties I believe I uh, worked on the show so oh from the, yeah sorry one of the producers of the Simpsons but it has kind of that kind of same style humor as a lot of the older Simpsons episodes so if you're uh, into that definitely uh, check this out pretty good series pretty funny as well uh, just follows this guy's uh, movie critic that uh, really doesn't like any movies at all but uh, yeah I definitely recommend checking it out if you like older Simpsons and that kind of thing and uh, this is really, I looked it up but it's really cheap to get this anyway, it's not expensive or anything but a uh, really cool series yeah. okay uh, finally got this package uh, took a long time to get here but I uh, finally got it uh, from Zavi um, mm, so I ordered it on the, uh, ordered it, ordered it on the 21st of the 1st, and I uh, finally got it, um, just a few days ago, so it took a month, a little over a month to get here, which is quite a while, um, considering I ordered stuff from the same kind of UK, uh, free shipping stuff, and it hasn't really taken that long, it's taken, probably a couple of weeks, three weeks at most usually, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why it took so long, but finally got here. Uh, got the uh, remake of the Attack of the 50 Foot Pullman. Uh, still sealed. Haven't watched it yet. Backlog is just getting getting ahead of me at the moment, so fine. I'll get around to that eventually. But finally got it. So I have ordered actually a few more things from them. Hopefully <laughs> don't take so long to get here this time, but we'll see. We'll see how they go. And then we're on to the last of the update, uh, some Blu-rays. So I got uh, another one of these uh, crazy Japanese um, action first movies. Um, I usually do enjoy these. There are a lot of good, uh, there's good uh, kind of fun, <laughs> crazy kind of, they come up with some really bizarre kind of stuff. Um, uh, let's see, here's a weapon. I'm guessing this is going to be kind of like a grindhouse. Um, Grindhouse kind of movie. Guy's got a guy's got the uh, chain gun for an arm there. So guessing that's <laughs> that's pretty much what it's going to be about. Him getting his revenge for getting his arm cut off or something. So yeah, look forward to that one. Um, I actually got one that's an uh, upgrade. Uh, so actually, uh, really really like the movie. Uh, like it a lot better than Kickass. Uh, super. So really happy to pick this up for two dollars. Uh, to upgrade it from Blu-ray as a why not? How can I lose for two bucks for upgrading to a Blu-ray? So very cool. And then I uh, this is actually a newer title I didn't expect to uh, see down at the flea market so quickly, but um, it is. It's by the same director of uh, District Nine, so you guys will probably already guess it. Oh, so Celine, how are we? <laughs> Um, yeah, so looking forward to checking this out. Uh, Love for District 9, it's probably one of my kind of favourite, more modern sci-fi movies, but 
yeah, so I'm looking forward to this, hoping it's pretty good. Uh, it does say it's mastered in 4K here. I'm not too sure about that. Mm. Mm. Alright, we'll see. <laughs> and that's all for this episode. Uh, that's all for this update. I'll see you guys later. Bye.